Ikhwan al-Muslimin, alhamdulillah, now that is outlawed and criminalized in many Muslim lands. And it was founded by Al-Hassan al-Banna in 1928 in the common era. Its aim was and remains till this day to gain political ascendancy, power and leadership. And they use means and methods that are, in, that are innovated and are, and are far away from the prof, uh, prophetic methodology and far away from the methodology of the early generations. So you find Ikhwan al-Muslimin in their history from 1928 up until today, how they use assassination, killing, rebellion, suicide bombing, terrorism, social unrest, mudaharat, marching in the streets, demonstrating, and even the ballot box, whatever it takes to gain political control and power, they will use it. Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, he declared this group to be from the 72 sects of misguidance alongside Jamaat al-Tabligh of India.